Hi, this video segment is designed to give you some basic background information on weld mount acrylic adhesives. Later on we'll have videos posted that will give you information on each specific adhesive and its uses. But this one is designed to be general in nature. First off, all of weld mount adhesives are called methyl methacrylates, MMAs. They're also known as acrylic adhesives. They're specially made for us and are unique in the marketplace. They're similar to epoxies in that they are two-part adhesives. You have a resin and a catalyst. You mix the resin and the catalyst together, either manually or by using a gun with a dispenser tip. But our adhesives are different from epoxies in two important ways. First off, methyl methacrylates are acid-based, which means that because of the acid base, they tend to etch into the substrate, much like a self-etching auto primer. This tends to make them tenacious bonders as opposed to epoxies. And while cleanliness is important, it's not nearly as an important factor with a methyl methacrylate as it is with an epoxy. The second big difference between our adhesives and epoxies is that while an epoxy or a methyl methacrylate may kick in 5 or 10 or 15 minutes, kick is the amount of time it takes before the glue hardens and the part can't be moved readily. But in the case of epoxies, they may kick in 5 or 10 minutes, but generally they take 24 to 72 hours to develop their full working strength. Methyl methacrylates and weld mount adhesives are far different in that they generate 75% of their working strength within three times the kick time. So for example, we have a six minute kick adhesive, which in, in uh, 18 minutes of time gives you as much as six to 700 pounds of tensile strength. So it makes it ideal from a production standpoint. Whenever you use our adhesives, there are a couple of general rules to keep in mind. First off, in filling the cartridges, there can be an air void introduced and therefore, whether you do it manually or use the gun, you always want to burp the first bit of adhesive into the garbage to make sure you're getting an even mixture of the resin and the catalyst. The second thing you have to be, uh, bear in mind is that these adhesives are all temperature sensitive. If, in fact, the temperature is much below 50 degrees, the resin uh, and catalyst may not harden effectively. So during the winter months, you need to use these products indoors or heat up the ambient area to above 50 degrees. The second thing that happens is, is that as the ambient temperature increases, the kick time tends to shorten. And conversely, as the temperatures get colder, it takes a little longer for the adhesives to kick. One other important factor is that these adhesives are temperature sensitive uh, in terms of storage. While each of our adhesives has a date on it, the date is only uh, relative to the storage condition at about 72 degrees. So if the adhesive has been in the trunk of your car or perhaps stored in a warehouse at very high temperatures, they often will fail faster than the date indicated on the label. So it's a good idea to always try a little bit of a new tube of adhesive and make sure that it kicks properly and that it's hard.